En route to the Kadna International Airport are sites of bushes and a few settlements around. Straight to the scene of the incident, where an airport staff was shot dead. Trails of blood of the deceased could be seen on the floor close to the perimeter fence. The military said the incident occurred six kilometers away from the terminal and the terrorists were given a hot chase afterwards. We believe that these guys were passing through to, towards Riawa and then to Riawa forest areas. And then seeing this guard here was just an opportunity for them to engage him just to send the kind of message. It was just an opportunity. It's not like they had any intention of attacking the airport. You came in from the airport, from the, from the tarmac area to this area. You saw the, kilo, the number, I mean, the miles you covered. You know, a lot of kilometers you covered to get to this place. So there's no way they would have entered the airport to come and uh, cause problems there. Because the insinuation outside is that the airport was attacked and taken over by bandits or terrorists. That's not true. Military operatives said it took the response team three minutes to arrive at the scene. The terrorists were engaged using ground forces and air components. Yeah, we recovered two motorcycles and then we called on the air. We scrambled a, a helicopter to engage them and engage them. According to the air reports, about 12 of them were killed. But normally, again, we are waiting for intelligence on the ground there to confirm this, and which we'll get in the next, maybe in the next, uh, by today or tomorrow, we'll get that... Uh, details of the, of the casualties after the airstrikes. We have layers of security in this airport here. This is just the first layer. There are other layers of security. If we didn't have such layers of security, it wouldn't start taking our men just about three minutes to get to this place here. It took them just three minutes from when the shot was had to when they got here. The military says since the breach of security at the Nigeria Defense Academy, it has heightened security around Kaduna Airport and its environs. We have deployed to the airport here the mobile air defense team, they are permanently on the airport and these are well-trained guys that can respond to such things. Then in addition to that, we have Operation Badamamaki sponsored by the Nigerian Air Force, also covering the entire area of the airport and the road up to Bini, uh, Barakalao, Rigashiku area. And this is also complemented by the state government uh, international security operation, uh, Operation Yaki. So the airport is safe. The airport is safe. Passengers are have nothing, absolutely nothing to worry about. The Kaduna state government says it is mobilizing residents around the airport area for intelligence gathering. Security cannot be left in the hands of the military, police and government alone. It's a two-way traffic. People need to come in and that is why government is mobilizing communities around the airport general area by way of uh, increasing human intelligence so that we can be able to have an edge over them. International airports around the globe are highly secured areas. It is hoped that security operatives will put more efforts to protecting lives and property within and around airports in the country. Nisi Gabriel, Arise News, Katina.